Hi, this is Dr. Frida, and today I would like to talk about the future and the coronavirus. I was just stopped because there was a siren in the back of my house where people, too many people, were getting together. Duh, you think they know better than that. Well, anyway, what they need to realize is a small difference can save their lives. When will they learn? You know, we've been celebrating holidays, talking about Christ, talking about Passover and Easter, and today we will be celebrating a holiday and talking about the virus as well. Because this virus is out to get anyone, it doesn't discriminate against age or race or gender, and this virus uh, is really something that could really kill us, so we have to take it very seriously. We have this in common, and I hope in the future, when we celebrate holidays, we know that across the world, we're all in this together and connecting on this level. Families are bonding more. It's a staycation if you do the right thing, playing games, going hiking, sharing, sharing experiences, of going on social media, connecting to people you haven't connected to, to before. It's really a wonderful opportunity. And what about the communities? What about people who really like each other and have been too busy? There's another way of helping each other. We are people that we have a common cause. And instead of just thinking of ourselves as individuals, we need to think of ourselves as a collective mind. When we have pain, other people have pain. So it's not just some third world country. Uh, we really are suffering and not looking at others, but it's going on all around us. So we have to know that when you reach the depth of despair, then you can have the height of um, happiness. Sorry, I can't even think of the word happiness. And when you have that, then you won't be so complacent uh, with your life. So the message I really want to give today is, remember the virus can't get you unless you go out and get it. Thank you.